Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Light Beam's Treasures and Curiosities, bringing you another What Sold video. Now, of course, Wednesday is that good old hump day. Generally speaking, usually my worst days, but I'm actually a little happy for yesterday. I made my goal, and I even made above my goal, which evened out to my $100 a day um, goal, which I'm really happy about. Saying goal too many times, but that's all right. So what we're going to highlight is what sold on Wednesday, May 27th, hump day. So the first thing I sold, um, I already wrapped it up and sent it out because it was an early sale. But I had a collection of these guys. It's Kingdom Builders, and I had a complete set of four of them. There was um, Sir Philip. There was um, it was a screwdriver. It was a, um, an axe. It was, uh, I, I don't know. It was a whole bunch of these little, uh, little takes uh, characters. Had them up for a while. I paid, I paid a dollar seven because they were ninety percent. Paid a dollar seven for these guys. Had them up for a while. Nobody sold, but I sold a four pack for thirty five dollars. So that was a good cha ching cha ching cha ching. Only cost ten dollars to ship because these guys are super light. So I was very happy with that. So cost me four dollars. Made a twenty five dollar profit. Can't go wrong. Well, twenty dollar profit actually. Then the next thing I sold was bocce ball set. Now I actually sold two sets of these, but I had to do a refund on one of them because one of them was going to go to Guam and go through customs. This particular item, I'm not chancing going through customs because they're liquid filled balls. So I I said I'm sorry due to the address, we cannot send this item. Blah, blah, blah. But I did sell one of them, which went to another place and sold for $12. So that's a good little buy. I have, speaking of the bocce balls, I only have six more sets left. So I might get rid of them at my garage sale, but we will see. Then the next thing I sold is a book set. Now, these are ex-library books. And I put them together because I thought it would be perfect. And sure enough, they went. Because on their own, they weren't worth that much. Together, I was able to get, how much did I get for these? $14 and their three field guides. So the first field guide is a field guide to shells, a field guide to insects, and a field guide to North American wildlife. I figured that would be a good educational uh, bundle to set up. $14 bundle. It's going media mail, so that was a nice little thing for freebie books. Then the next thing I sold is a two-pack. Um, let me see. Nature's Box Body Butter, and it looks like it's, oh, it's apricot. Apricot Oil Nature Box Body Butter. That's that's a tongue twister. Um, I paid, I don't even remember how much I paid for these, these were definitely a dirt cheap item, and anything with dirt cheap, I'm usually paying two dollars or less. So I would probably say I probably paid about seventy cents for these. But anyway, um, I sold the two of these, and they sold for sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents. So that's a great little profit for that. And then the final item, I think my friend is going to be happy. In fact, I did a video on this because I had to do some research on um, this particular item. But I'm going to show you. Dun, dun, dun. This thing finally sold. This is a jadeite um, tray. So um, I did a whole complete study on this. And I can't find my maker's mark. But that's okay. I did a study on this. And um, this is called jadeite. It's a classic um, style serving tray. It's not the original jade, and it's not the original one that uh, goes in the dark, but it's a reproduction, and I got this for a very good price. This sold for $45. $45. So I have to make sure that I wrap this up carefully and that I'm very gentle with it, and we'll see what happens. I am scared, but hopefully this will get in one piece. So that's it. I had absolutely no sales on Macari, which is a little strange. Actually, no, it's not strange. Macari seems to pick up on weekends, so I'm not worried about that. Although, I did put a whole bunch of brand new items on Macari, so I'm going to be excited to see what happens with those items. So my grand total, are you ready for this? 
$130.99 for Wednesday. Now, if you saw my video yesterday, you probably remembered me saying, oh, I did 85 one day, I did 80, um, 8 the other day, so I need roughly $30 to catch up to my $100 a day. Sure enough, what did I do? I did 130 so there we go. I am exactly at $100 a day based on those sales. So, good news is I got in touch with my postman. We had um, two accidents that happened outside, and because of the accidents, he had to stop. And since he stopped in front of me, I'm like, I have a question for you. So I had a nice long talk with my postman, who's very professional, because I told him I was very, very worried about leaving the stuff, particularly since I'm on a main road, and he totally agreed. And he gave me some of the best advice on what to do, but he is going to pick up my packages on a daily basis. I am so happy. So that's going to be a good thing. Um, as long as I'm home, because I'm not going to leave them out, but I will make sure that I'm home. He just needs me to be home between two to four. Not a problem. I'm usually home anyway. I'm on the internet. Type 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 type. Anyway, so that was uh the good news with the postman. So we'll see how my packages end up, but I think it's going to be a good thing. And then other good news is, look at the weather report for this weekend. It looks like it's going to be beautiful. So guess what? I am having my final garage sale. I'm calling it my final garage sale because what's going to happen over the next few weeks? We are going to start parties. My mom is coming down to visit. It is my birthday. So June is the month of Melanie. So this weekend um, is being uh, the last weekend of May is definitely going to be a garage sale weekend. I am bringing out all the books. I am bringing everything out. I am just going to sell it all. Um, and it'll definitely clear up a lot of space for some new stuff. And I'm hoping to get some extra ching cha ching That's why I can buy new stuff. Plus, I'm going to need money for a car and I'm going to need money for... Uh, my mom's vacation. Ugh. Can't wait for her to come. I really can't. I'm, I'm, I'm getting really excited. That's what it is. It's I need this. It's my birthday. She's coming down. She's going to visit. It's going to be a great night. So what's going to happen is tomorrow, I'm going to start my, um, my garage sale. In fact, I'm probably going to start setting up today. And I am going to bring out all the books. I'm calling it Book Angel that's uh, making an appearance, and I'm going to sell all my books 10 cents each. I don't care. I don't care what the value is, because when it comes to garage sales, books is a tough sale in this area. That's the reason why I get so many books. So I figured, you know, something 10 cents each, they can get 10 books. Hopefully I'll get a lot of the older people who like to read books, and they'll just scan the ones, pick out the ones they want, and it'll uh, reduce some of the... Um, inventory in the books because I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books that I want to get rid of. Once I get an idea of how many books I get rid of, then I'll start doing this again where I bundle it up in packs like this and hopefully, yeah, hopefully I can get my business going through the roof and it'll continue to thrive. But with that, everyone, I know I am blabbering. Um, I think my next goal is I want to start doing live shows. Ooh, you think we can do live shows? Maybe we'll have a conversation back and forth, get people coming in, maybe even do an auction. We'll see. I don't know. I got to see if I'm daring enough, but I know nobody is up this early in the morning, but maybe I can have like the coffee clock group. Who knows? Anyway, this is Melanie Lightbeam who's blabbering way too much. Um, can't wait to see what happens this weekend with sales. Can't wait to see what happens with my garage sale. And until next time, I hope everyone has a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep on sourcing, and good luck with your sales. Take care.